The Department of Homeland Security announced the Disinformation Governance Board on April the 27th, 2022, due to a widespread backlash against the perceived Ministry of Truth. It was paused on the 18th of May and the head of the board, Nina Jankowitz, resigned. Taylor Lorenz wrote an excessively sympathetic article in the Washington Post on Jankowitz's resignation. Unsurprisingly, Lorenz and Jankowitz are personal friends. Chris Hayes on MSNBC did a segment with Jankowitz where he was too biased in her favour and which was too sympathetic. Ron Paul made Jimmy Dore's point in the Senate when he said the US government is the greatest purveyor of misinformation in the world. Ron Paul and Jimmy Dore are correct on that point. Live Action reported that Nancy Pelosi has been banned from receiving communion in the San Francisco Archdiocese and entirely correct in my opinion. The Telegraph Metro, the Daily Mail, the Times, the Daily Mirror and the BBC reported on a story about a Nazi paedophile aspiring cannibal who attacked his ex-girlfriend with a machete on camera. He escaped prosecution because he is in MI5. He also made his ex-girlfriend watch executions. Politico reported that the United States is urging Taiwan to follow the Ukraine playbook in countering China. A Chinese government spokesperson said that the United States admits Taiwan is part of China but keep talking about the mainland's potential aggression against Taiwan. That's contradictory. How do you invade a part of your own country? A satellite phone belonging to the OSCE was found in Azovstal by the Russians. This evidence leads to the conclusion that the OSCE is working with the Azov Battalion. Politico reported that Liz Truss wants NATO to expand into the Indo-Pacific region and to protect Taiwan. This is clearly saber rattling against not only the People's Republic of China but the Islamic Republic of Iran. The Guardian reported that China pointed out that NATO messed up Europe and China warned over NATO interference in the Indo. Pacific region. The BBC, The Telegraph, ITV and The Guardian reported that Liz Truss wants Moldova to be equipped to NATO standards. This means putting missiles on the border of Transnistria. They're not even hiding their aggression anymore. A Croatian representative to the EU said if the EU wanted to prevent war, they would sanction Saudi Arabia and the United States, not just sanctioning Russia. Richard Medhurst reported that Israel killed a Palestinian boy 
three people at a Syrian airport on an Iranian colonel in Tehran within one fortnight. That's as well as killing the journalists at the refugee camp in Palestine. And the TV reported that the United States State Department removed the One China Policy explanation from its website. That is significant and it shows their malevolent intentions towards Taiwan. Business Insider reported that NATO brand beer is on sale in Finland to propagandize the country into NATO membership. So more missiles on Russia's border, that will work out well. Salvador Ramos shot 19 children and two teachers in Uvalde in Texas. KDRV reported that 81% of the students at Robb Elementary are economically disadvantaged. The BBC showed footage of the police standing idly by as parents shouted there's a shooting. As for the border patrol agent who stopped the shooting, he almost died as there was a bullet hole on his helmet. In an attack on the Second Amendment, Joe Biden said such things only happen in the United States. This is demonstrably false. The Peshawar school massacre was in Pakistan. That's just one example. Professional Sinn Féin leader Mary Lou Macdonald gave verbal rec recognition to the six county state on Good Morning Britain. That shows what kind of party professional Sinn Féin is. And I'm sure that quarter of a million who voted for them recently are feeling glad about their votes. Well done. Massachusetts Democratic Party representative Richie Neal angered unionists by calling them planters. He defended it by stating that the term was historically accurate. The Irish Independent reported that a professional Sinn Féin election worker was jailed for robbing a chronically ill pensioner. Again, the quarter of a million who voted for a professional Sinn Féin recently. How are you feeling about that vote? That's the sort of party you're voting for. CGTN reported that China urged the United States to objectively accept China's peaceful development. And that's such a big demand China's making of America. BBC Newsline reported that the threat of monkeypox is very small. So it's not like they can exaggerate this into another orgy of lockdowns. The BBC reported that the Tories introduced a windfall tax to distract from the Sue Gray report on the Downing Street parties. 
Reuters reported that Italian and German corporations are buying Russian oil in rubles. That's a death knell for the petrol dollar. Hungary vetoed the EU oil embargo against Russia and that will strengthen Russia as well.